Hi all, this is Tim Olson with Evolution Software. In today's video tip, we're going to show how you can make a spiral hole pattern on a flat plate. This tip uses the 2D spiral command out of the spline menu, a cylinder primitive, translate along a path, and finally a boolean subtract. Let's begin by constructing a spiral on the top of the plate. And to do this, we will go to the spline spiral tool, which is the first icon on the left. And for the center of the spiral, we'll reference the origin of the part, and we'll pull a point out along the uh, x-axis. Then I'll use the data entry window to type in the exact values that I would like. For my pitch, I'd like 0 0.1 and a diameter of 2. Now that we have our whole path, let's go ahead and construct a cylinder that will be later subtracted from the plate. And we'll select the uh, cylinder two-point option for this and we will reference the end point or start point of our spiral and pull down in Z a cylinder. Uh, as for the uh, diameter, we're going to use 0 0.8. And next we'll go to the translate along path command. Uh, we're going to translate the cylinder along the spiral and to determine the quantity uh, I would like to have a spacing between diameters of uh, 0.16 and to calculate the quantity I'm going to use a little trick here where you can click on a curve and the context menu will show the length of it and I'll just select that length then I'll go back to our path duplicate tool and I'm going to backspace over the three right click paste and this paste the value of the length from the uh, context menu and then I'll divide it by the spacing that we want which is 0.16 and that gives me a um, duplicate quantity of 194 now let's go to uh, select our objects that we want to copy along a path which is the cylinder then the path, which is the spiral. And then for the origin, that'll be the start of the spiral or the center of the cylinder. And then for the alignment, I'm just going to pick the two points representing the x-axis, letting logic cursor show me where that is. And we can see our cylinders are now translated along the path. And we are now ready to subtract our cylinders from the plate. To do that, we'll go over to the Subtract Solid tool, and I'm going to jump over into the front view, and I'm going to select our plate, and then I'm going to do a partial select right to left of the cylinders and have them subtracted from our base. And now you can see our resulting spiral hole pattern on our flat plate. Thank you.